Did you consult the Volva? Pardon, Frau? And were your questions answered? Some questions were answered. Others I must answer myself. Do you think there is a place for Vili in our settlement? He expressed a desire to live and work with us. Will he not be Jarl of this Shire before the day's end? That remains to be seen. Some are more eager to see Trigvi in the high seat. Eivor, Trigvi has no intention to lead. He feels duty-bound to follow his master into death. Absolutely not. My father would never allow such foolishness. How else can I honor my Jarl? Old as I am, this is no country for me. The future is yours, Vili. The flames of this pyre will burn for my father. You must live. I forbid you to follow him into death. I will not let you sacrifice yourself. Do you forbid me as a friend, Vili? Or as our new Jarl? As a man who would see you come to your senses. Vili. Trigvi. Each man wears one of Hemminger's boots, with both men unwilling to seize the other. Does the world need such useless, dithering men? Why not stake a claim yourself? Take this shire for your own. It is not my place. Your place is anywhere you lay your head, any hill you summit, any silver you take for your own. Do not limit yourself to niceties. Snottinghamshire deserves a leader to admire. A man the people can trust. Most love Billy, and he loves them. But he lacks the will to be leader. He could learn. But does he wish to? And Trigvi, sturdy and wise, and loyal to the legacy Hemminger Jarl left behind. Almost to a fault. But he is old, and his thrill for living has fled him. Hardly inspiring. You cannot! I will not allow it! I am not asking for your permission. Only your forgiveness. Gods, Eivor! Put a stop to this fool's death wish! This is no small decision, Trigvi. And not without great cost. The Shire will be diminished without you. But I... I have nobody left. My life's purpose lies dead upon that pyre. That is not so. When people look to my father for guidance, who did they see him turn to for counsel? Hemminger Jarl was my rock. Yes, I gave him counsel, but he made the hard choices. If Hemminger were here, would he not urge you to wield this wisdom for the betterment of all? And was your vow to serve Hemminger Jarl unto death, or to serve his legacy and life? I will stay. You have wisdom, Eivor. More than I could have guessed. Eivor! <gasps> Suniva! Pigs were spotted moments ago, lurking in the thicket. Ville gave chase! Arsh, stick! You should have roused me first. Show me where he went. Let us wake the others. The dark is lousing with pigs. I can take them on myself. Tell me where. They're not far. I'll show you. His rage has consumed him, Eivor. All this anger, this sadness, it has truly taken form. Our stick was never one to temper his emotions. This was bound to happen. I should have been more vigilant. Do not blame yourself, Drenkur. He always had me to watch his back, as children. And again now, if this rampage is what he needs to rid himself of the sick that binds him, he will at least make sure he does not hurt himself. <laughs> Thank Odin he has the mighty wolf kissed as his shadow. There are things we do for family, Suniva. No questions asked. 
For you, I would have done the same. For any of Raven Clan. We know, Drengur. That is why we are sworn to you. Here, Eivor. This was where Villa saw the scout killed and then charged after the enemy ahead. I will head back to Hemthorpe and make sure our Ravens stand vigilant. Return to us safely, Drengur. This place is heavily guarded. Stop, Billy. They're gone. It's done. Bah! I've seen roosters fight with more spirit. Oddly enough, so have I. That sound. Is it thunder? Footsteps. We need to fall back. Follow me. Quickly! Like when we were children getting into trouble and getting away. Save your honey words for when we get out of here alive, our stick. <laughs> I saw it's thunder hammer. That quickened the blood. Wild and reckless, like our first battles together. Remember the island north of Stavanger? 
I do. Cured for the cruel trained his berserkers there. Great lumbering fools foaming at the mouth. We taunted them from the treetops. <laughs> and the drunk one, remember? Naked as the morning. Froze his cock off trying to find us. Then fell to humping a snowdrift. <laughs> <laughs> Were you glad to hear from me? I did wonder what trouble you had been up to. But I smiled at hearing your name, and I wondered if you had taken after your father. If you were now leading your clan. Well, you have your answer. I'd sooner take after a troll and leave this clan in your hands. That I will not do. When my father was named Jarl, he had no one to help him, and still he triumphed. But I am not my father. I... I simply want to roam. Do you think Slipnir would be content bound to a stable, no matter how glorious it may be? Hey! What is that for? You have friends, Vili. What about Trikvi? And me? And your clan? Of course. I know that. You can't roam forever. Keep that in mind. You are surrounded by those who love you. And that will not change. Unless you push it all away. You... You speak a truth, I understand. Troll-faced arstic. <laughs> a chicken draugr. Is such a thing possible? For that does not seem possible. Voda too. A water infused with fire. I do not lie. <laughs> Your father's death aside, Billy. This has been good. Fun even. Do you ever wonder what might have happened if we had not been separated by the North Sea so early in our lives? What adventures we would have had. The raids, the battles, the glory. I even think about what we might have been to each other. I have, fondly. And often enough that it sometimes seemed you never left. Maybe you never did. I... I want you, Eivor. Your warmth. Your touch. Really? No. That will not happen, I'm sorry. Get some rest, eh? Are you going? Uh, with so much on my mind, I haven't slept a wink. The funeral, the fanes... I should get back. I understand. I'll see you there. Billy, gone already. To prepare for the funeral, I imagine.
scared. So glad to see you. I miss it. Talk to hide them. to see you. I have completed the contract. Excellent work, my friend. You impress me more and more every day. Here is what you have earned. What do you have today? A striking look coupled with an efficient design. Thank you. I am sure I will see you back again soon. I must be on my way now. Goodbye. See you later. much we... Tove. Eivor, it's Sven. He... He passed while I was away. Tove. I'm sorry I wasn't there. No one was. We had planned to brand Tekla's barrels that morning. And we talked about what we might have for supper. And when I went to collect him, he was... in his bed. Sleeping, I thought. But he was already gone. I'm sure he went in peace. But he went with plans. Things he wanted to do, things he meant to do. His death was so empty. Not like in our stories. What stories do you mean? When we tell stories, the old and wise, they have this calm about them. They know when their end has come and they are ready. Sven wasn't ready, and I wasn't ready either. He was supposed to teach me things. I'm still learning. Everyone looks at me like I will simply carry on his work, as if nothing happened. Because they don't know. They don't know I'm not ready. Life may ask more of us than we are prepared to give, but all we can do is our best. Hmm. I was not prepared to lose my parents, but in a flash, they were taken from me. I pressed on, determined to live. That must have been punishing. But you are so strong, and so determined. Someone else might have done better than me, or worse. This was the fate woven for me, so I live it. I know Sven believed in you, in your craft. So do you believe in him? Do you trust him? He was the most skilled artist I have ever known. And he chose you. 
You may step up or step down, whatever you decide. But know that he had faith in you. Thank you, Eivor. I need to get home. Be strong, Tovi. And know that you're valued. No, Charles will never honor our bond with you northerners. Unlike him, my word can be trusted. Ha! You are no more than a wounded dog at my table looking for scraps. How dare you! Wait! Eivor! Finally we can talk sense. What of Richardis? Did you encounter Charles? Where Charles survived a trial by fire. The flames never touched her. And the king? Did you do as I asked? I fought Charles, but he still lives. Merde! We had an agreement! Where is your honor? Be careful, Count. Things changed. Just the opposite. It is as it always has been with you northerners. All lies and double speak. Crusade has had her own ideas about the future of Frankia. Grew sympathetic to them. After all I have done to try and keep her safe from him. She convinced me that her plan was sound. She meant to subdue the king. Truly, she has a spell over him. This is your plan for the long-term safety of your people? She will ready the boy Bernard to be the next king of Frankia. He is yet a piglet! You should be glad, Odo. Charles is gone. Will not bother you anymore. Maybe. But I won't stand by idly and watch this kingdom crumble any further. At least we can drink to Charles being subdued.
Let us go! We have work to do! What do you think he will do? Odo will focus on rebuilding Paris. I just hope he does not grow bitter in the doing. I will have Pierre's eyes on him for some seasons to come. A wise step. Can Richardis really keep Charles from returning to an active kingship? That is the wager I have made. And the lives of my clan depend on it. They can depend on more than that. You still have me. I will be sure to send word should Charles slither out of whatever pit Richardis has put him in. So your relations with Odo, consider returning to him the lands that Charles pledged to Siegfried. No. Those lands are compensation for the hardship he has caused us. Odo kept Paris. That is enough. You sound more yarl like all the time. And now I must think of my own people, whom I've been away from for too long. Before you go, have this. It was my father, Sinrix, the second best leader and teacher I have known. It has been my honor. I hope to lead as well as you do, Eivor. If ever you hunger for more Frankish cheese, I will be happy to share. <laughs> Farewell, Toka. cautious around here.
barred. from the other side. Stole an old third sword. If rumors are true, that blade is made of crucible steel. Might be worth looking for.
truly it was, for you belong to me. Me. Only me. Oh, my friends. That sword you hold. The one you stole from the camp. We stole. These men and I. But there is only one sword. And can be only one owner. Tyr's hand is now mine. My dear friends. My brothers, my kinsmen. They coveted it. But I could not let them have it. No. I had no choice. An Ulfbert sword. Made from crucible steel. I've never seen one up close. It sells for a large amount of coin. There is almost no price that can match the sword. It has both immense power and beauty. Once you wield the sword, you will understand. <laughs> Though that will not happen. If you want it, there is only one way. We must fight. Would you not part with it for a hefty sum of coin? Tyr's hand has no price. It is priceless, an object of the gods. But uh, how hefty are we talking? Quite hefty. Then I shall accept. I will take the coin and live for my brothers. Now, leave me. I should probably not let Tokus have left me have it.
podcast about this land, my friend. So, what will it be? Back to England? To England. Off we go then. Are we safe? It will be many winters before Frankish troops land on the English shore. My spies say Paris fell. It did. But the situation is thornier than that. In what way? The Queen, Rishadis, believes she can subdue the Mad King in isolation. They have withdrawn to a faraway place. But Charles has such a stormy reputation. Can this Queen tame such a man? Rashadis has a deep well of courage to draw from, and she holds sway over Charles like no other. That is comforting. We also have a hardy ally in Toka Sinrik's daughter. She is young. And a quick study. <laughs> She'll do right by us. Perhaps they need not know the danger we face. We came home with bounty, glory, and some Frankish foods. I can ask the raiders to keep their tails to that. They will say everything, and then some. <laughs> Afraid so. <laughs> Now let the side. 